Then you understand why black, and this is black, brown folks too, then you understand why the jails and the prisons are full of black and brown people. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so this is what, and, and, and we can't come together as a collective and demand what it is we want because we continue to allow people to disparage black folks to us. Yeah. We continue to allow folks to disparage. All they got to do is say, you know, James Thomas is a bad person. Oh, now you know, now you know he was kind of. <laughs> Y'all be searching for stuff. You know, he said, remember he, James? Did you hear what he said? Did, did you the drug James? Did, did you bring him over here? You know, and before you know it, and what happens is, the police are like, oh, we got him now. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. But not just the police, our principals, our school administrators, mm -hmm. our school board officials, yeah. in public institutions, when you're doing investigations, you don't need to prove that a child or a teacher was guilty beyond the shadow of a doubt. You just need to prove it with the preponderance of evidence, 50% and a feather. James did not seem credible because, and right. that will be the decisioning factor as to whether or not James keeps his job or as to whether or not a student did or not do something. So the system, if you will, um, it's not oh, just in related to the criminal justice system, but it's also our public institution you, in terms of right. education. And you know what I think it is? I think it goes even further, because I think it's deeper than right. just institutions. I think that white supremacy is a religion. That's what right. I think. <laughs> I think we, I think we have people who worship at the altar of white supremacy. Because it's deeper than that, because they'll turn on, you turn on each other. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a humbly correct you, and I'm going to use the, uh, both a psychiatrist and a psychologist I heard during COVID on, on, a, um, on, a, uh, on, on, on a Zoom call that said they, they basically uh, analyzed the history of white supremacy and they deemed it to be in their professional opinion on mental illness. Well, that, well, 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 I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Medical apartheid, it's gonna scare you. You're gonna have to pray every day. 
Can we wrap? Yes, we can. Can we give Dr. Thomas a hand? So when you bringing him back? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I mean he he was just talking about you know you could go to the. Y'all want me back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Civilization, and you'll be shocked. Oh, yeah, that's good too. That's a good one by, by uh, Chancellor Williams, and, and what Chancellor Williams talks about. Any church folks in here, if you go to church, have you ever heard the phrase, He'll make a way of escape? That is African, that is ancient, that is an ancient African war strategy. Wow. Say it again. He'll make a way of escape. Okay. It is an ancient African war strategy. When they went to war, they wanted their enemies to escape. They wanted to provide a way for them to escape. They didn't have war to kill people. They would kill them if they wanted, if they had to, but that wasn't their objective. So they always provided a way of escape for them to take that. And so when, when we do do like this, when every preacher stand up like an act president of the Bible, you need to find where it ain't in the Bible. Because if you look at Chancellor Williams' book and you compare, you're going to see. Wait a minute. So we've been lying to you. There's also a book called The Color of Christ, The Saga of Race in America, <coughs> that is written by, I think his name is, last name Bloom. That's the one where they attribute, when they came up with the, with the notion of, of the white image, your feet image of Christ. So that's your homework. That's your homework. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. 